So I got to try out Way of the Hunter and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight in terms of what my first impression was of the game from a perspective of a real world hunter. So I want to break down this video into pros and cons, what I liked, what I didn't like, and where I think there can be some improvement and what I think they should maybe implement in the future. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the pros and what I thought this game did very well. So the first thing I noticed were blood trails and how they illustrated blood trails. This was fantastic. I thought this was very realistic. In the initial trailer, they kind of showed this carpet of blood just everywhere from the initial shot. And you're just like, wow, that is a lot of blood. It, it seems pretty interesting, but visually it was probably a little bit overboard. So what they actually did in the game is very appropriate for real world hunting. Unless you make a shot in a, in a certain area with a certain caliber of rifle, this is much more indicative of what you're going to see. Next was the claim screen or the screen where you actually got to look at the animal, where you shot them and the information that goes along with said animal. This was fantastic. It's just as good as, as it looked in the trailer. I loved all of this information. I loved being able to see not only where I hit the animal, but how the projectile moved through the animal and what other organs I might've hit. Other part I liked was a trophy score. I thought they did a good job of keeping it very simple in terms of breaking down the actual trophy score. There's so much detail in these screens that one can kind of sit there and almost get lost in it. There's so much information, but I think this is fantastic. It really helps you understand how much they've thought about every single aspect of this game and every single animal in this game. Next up is the Jeep. Let's talk about this because it was featured in the trailer and it's something that I was pretty excited for. This is a cool element and I think it's something that makes it really personal as well because you get to go where you wanna go and there's no real limitations other than obviously once you hit certain steep areas. It feels like you're in a Jeep kind of bouncing around in the countryside trying to figure out where you're going to hunt. I really enjoy this and it does certainly speed up you getting from point A to point B. And it's also nice, the thought that they had, that if you do get away from your Jeep and you fast travel back to your lodge, that you don't have to then go retrieve the Jeep. You can just spawn another one at the lodge. The next area I wanted to point out was details. There are so many details in this game. I love how they took the time to model this shotgun in particular, all those little elements. And if you even look at the gloves, you can tell they're perfect. It's a lot of really nice, fine touches. Everything about this has clearly been taken into consideration. That also leads me into the next point, which is the landscape. The landscape is so well modeled. And as someone that's hunted in the West, this looks just like the landscape I've hunted in. It reminds me a lot of the kind of saddles I would sit on, the valleys I would go down, and everything about the way the trees are, the bushes are, the tall grass, it's so reminiscent of how I used to hunt out in the West. This is fantastic, and I think it feels a little bit more realistic than what I've seen in other games. I would say from a hunter standpoint, the part that I felt like was the most realistic and that I enjoyed the most was hunting pheasants with a shotgun. This part of the game felt very realistic. The way they kind of had the back of the shotgun blurred, but you can just kind of focus on that bead and then try to follow the trajectory of the pheasant. It felt so much more realistic than I expected it to. And as an upland bird hunting kind of guy, I really appreciated this. To me, this was the best and closest thing I've ever seen in a video game to giving you that feeling of true upland bird hunting. So very well done from the developers. And finally, the last thing I wanna to touch upon in terms of pros is kind of personal to me. And that is how they use the storyline to depict and tell the story of actual hunters. They do a nice job of educating people that maybe aren't part of hunting that this is something that we do and we try to be as ethical as possible. They show a great amount of respect for the sport itself, but also showing how we respect the animals, the landscape, how we feel about everything. It really comes through as a positive message that oftentimes I feel like isn't always told in a game like this. So now let's move on to some of the elements I think they could do better or the general cons of the game 
as it is right now first one being tracking tracking in this game can be a little bit frustrating when you first get into it but one element i noticed as a real hunter that kind of threw me off was naturally as a hunter you're inclined to follow animals downhill when they're shot animals in real life do not run uphill generally speaking they run downhill so at one point in the game I'm sitting there i shoot a buck and he runs straight uphill and it kind of threw me off because not only do i have to deal with the landscape and trying to find the blood trail but i just couldn't find him for a little while because it just didn't make common sense to me i went up the hill for quite a while and i expected him to maybe go back down which if anything that made a lot of sense to me and instead he just went up higher and ended up dying right next to a tree i didn't really understand that and it made it harder for me to track him i've also seen people say in the discord that they're also having a little bit of trouble tracking and that it is a little bit more challenging i do think that's good because it makes you think about the landscape in which you're going to shoot the animal you shoot them in an area that's wide open compared to something that is very dense your tracking job is going to be significantly better in a much more open area i like that because it does make you think about it but the tracking in general can be a little bit challenging for someone that's new so after praising the jeep and talking about how i like it the one element i will talk about with it is that going up any kind of incline well it's just not enjoyable it starts to really chug and really slow down and I kind of understand why they might be doing this. Yes, it slows down and yes, it can be somewhat annoying, but I think what they're trying to do is really make sure that you can control the Jeep and that you don't try to go all GTA and start launching off things all over the map. As much as that would be fun and as much as I think we'd all get a kick out of it, I think what they're trying to do is make sure that you're focused more on hunting and less in driving the Jeep. So inclines in the Jeep, not so much your friend. I understand that you might have the perception that you should be easily be able to go up some of these simple inclines it is going to slow down it is going to bog down but in the end it gets the job done and you kind of understand a little bit more when you start thinking about it why they might have done that mechanic like that the next two elements are probably the elements that threw me off the most with this game first being the sound which is understanding how far your sound travels how far does it go till the point where even if I'm going as slow as possible, that animal can hear me. I understand if you're rolling around the Jeep, it's loud, they're gonna hear you. That's pretty well established, but it doesn't really help that you don't have some kind of meter or any kind of measurement in terms of knowing how far your sound carries. Add in your beginning weapon and scope that don't shoot very far, and suddenly it makes the game a lot more challenging, which isn't a bad thing. It just means that there's a steeper learning curve. You can't just go out there and start blasting away at 300 yards. You have to get closer, and not being able to really understand how close you can get is part of the learning curve it just makes it a little bit more frustrating for new players so expect to experience that expect to have animals running away and fleeing you and getting busted often when you're just trying to get that little bit closer so you can make that critical shot and finally the number one thing i did not like in this game that really threw me off I'm going to refer to this as phantom animals. This is where you had moments in this game where you can see quite a ways and they want to make sure that you can see far enough away that you can pick out animals and then approach into a spot and stock style, which I love. But a lot of shadows in this game are going to look like animals. You pull up on it with your rifle and suddenly it's just a couple blades of grass. It happens a lot in this game. I can't tell you how many times I would see next to a tree, this little blob and I'd pull up on it and it's a tiny spruce. It threw me off so many times that when I was walking around, I almost had to double check frequently. Is it an animal or is it just one of these phantom animals? Now this happens in real life when you are hunting, but this does not happen all the time. And it mostly happens at very early morning or very late evening. It does not happen really in the middle of the day. I was walking around at two o'clock in this game and I'm seeing phantom shadows everywhere in certain areas, especially in heavy cover. And it's so hard to tell, should I pull up on it? Should I check it? Or should I just say, ah, no big deal 
and continue on my way. It's the one element that probably threw me off the most. And in the end, hopefully this gets addressed because it is something that does hinder you while you're walking around the map and it is somewhat frustrating. So what's my impression of the game after playing a little bit more than four hours? Well, I think with a little bit of attention to detail in terms of the shadows and making sure the animals want to flee downhill more than uphill, I think you have most of the things that I would want to see in this game improved. Add in field of view that you can adjust and key binding, which I know they're working on currently, and I think you have a very solid game. As you noticed in this review, I was mostly positive. I think what they have here is something they can build upon and continue to improve. And with that, I think you can have something truly special. So hopefully you enjoyed my first impressions of the game. I think that we have a really solid foundation here and I can't wait to see what the developers do with it. If I was you, I'd jump right in, download the game. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun, especially if you like hunting simulators and get out there, shoot straight and knock something down.